everyone this is the fifth lecture of your example number 1 which is the design of cantilever retaining wall so students in the first four lecture of this example let us revise so in the first lecture and in the second lecture we are discussing about the coefficient of earth pressure which is k and kp okay so k means coefficient of active earth pressure and kp is the coefficient of passive earth pressure after that we will find out the preliminary dimensions it means it is already discussed that in this example we have to find out our dimensions as trial and error method because after finding out the preliminary dimensions we have to find out four stability checks so in the last lecture we are discuss about our four stability checks in which our first check is stability against overturning our second check is stability against sliding our third check is our maximum pressure which is acting at the toe end is always not exceed the safe bearing capacity of soil and our last check is our minimum pressure is at the heel portion is always be greater than 0 it means our minimum pressure is no tension at base level okay so this is our four stability checks after that we will find out our step number 4 which is the design of stem so students in any example we have to find out step number 1 2 and 3 then it is clearly mentioned that in the question that find out the preliminary dimension stability checks and design a stem only if in the question it is clearly mentioned that design the stem only then we have to calculate only step number 4 it means we have to calculate step number 1 2 3 and 4 if in the question it is clearly mentioned that design a heel slab only then we have to skip our step number 4 it means we have to find out our step number 1 2 3 and directly move to step number 5 okay so now let us start our step number 4 which is design of stem but one common method in this step number 4 5 and 6 is that we have to find out first of all force so what is the method of to find out force so we have to find out the area of pressure diagram so we will calculate force after finding out the force we have to find out moment after moment we have to find out pt ast spacing spacing provided and at last ast provided so this is the common procedure for step number 4 5 and 6 okay so let us start our step number 4 which is the design of stem so students you all know that our stem is width of 0.2 meter at the top and this is our stem which is 0.45 meter at bottom now our total height is 6.7 meter in which our thickness of base slab is 0.5 meter so what is the height of stem so our height of stem is denoted by small h is capital h minus 0.5 so our height of stem is 6.2 meter okay so you can see that our backfill is provided over here so your backfill is acting a force on retaining wall like this it means our backfill is acting force on retaining wall like active earth pressure move away side okay so whenever any your component is acting on force on component as away side it is called as active earth pressure so what is the equation of pressure the equation of pressure is k into gamma into h in which k 
K means coefficient of active earth pressure. Gamma is density of soil. And small h, small h means height of stem, which is 6.2 meter. Okay, now we have to find out force. So, it is already discussed in the earlier of this lecture that if we have to find out force, then we have to find out area of pressure diagram. So, you can see that this is the pressure diagram. So, what is the shape? So, the shape is triangle. So, what is the area of triangle? So, the triangle area is one half base altitude. So, our answer is one half. Our base is K into gamma into H and our altitude is small h. So, what is the area? Our area is one half base altitude. It means our equation of force is one half into K into gamma into H square. Now, what is the value of K? The value of K is 1 by 3. It is calculated in step number 1. Our value of density is 18 kN per meter cube and our value of small h is 6.2. After putting all these values, we will get our answer 115.32 kN. So, this is our force. After calculating force, we have to find out moment. So, what is the equation of moment? Moment means force into perpendicular distance. So, this is force and our perpendicular distance is like that. Means because our maximum force is acting at the bottom of stem. So, our maximum moment at the base of stem is M is equal to F into D. So, you all know that our CG of triangle is over here. And we have to find out our all the forces and all the moments is at the base of stem. So, what is this distance? So, this distance is h by 3. So, we have to find out moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance which is 115.32 into 6.2 divided by 3. So, we will get our answer. 238.32 kN into meter. Okay. So, this is the calculation of moment. But whenever we have to calculate or whenever we have to design any component, then we have to find out and we have to design all the components for factor load and factor moment. So, this moment is unfactored moment. So, we have to find out factor moment is equal to 1.5 into 238.32 because 1.5 is our factor of safety. Okay, so we will get our answer is 357.48 kN into meter. After calculation of moment, we have to find out PT. PT, AST, spacing, spacing provided and AST provided. So, what is the equation of PT? The equation of PT is 50 FCK by FY in the bracket 1 minus under root 1 minus 4.6 MU upon FCK BD square. Okay. So, 50 is constant. FCK means characteristic strength. So, it is already given in our question that we have to use M20. So, our value of FCK is 20. Our value of FY is 415. 1 is constant. 1 is constant. 4.6 is constant over here. MU. MU means ultimate moment, maximum moment. So, our answer maximum moment is 357.48. But this 357.48 is in kilonewton into meter. So, we have to convert kilonewton into meter to newton into mm. So, what is the conversation? So, 357.48 into 10 raised to 6. Okay. FCK is equal to 20. B, B is equal to 1000 because 
we have to calculate all the forces and all the moments per meter length. Now, what is D? So, students, this is our value 450 mm. So, this is our capital D. Now, if we have our capital D is equal to 450 mm, then what is the value of small d? So, our small d is capital D minus 50. It means effective cover. So, our value of small d is 400 mm. Okay. So, after putting all this value, we will get our answer 0.73 percentage. Okay. So, this is the answer of PT. After calculating PT, we have to find out AST. So, what is the equation of AST? The equation of AST is PT BD upon 100. So, our PT is 0.73. Our B is equal to 1000 because we have to calculate all the forces per meter length. Our answer of small d is 400. It is already clear in this level. So, after putting all this value, we will get our answer 2920 mm square. Okay, now we have to find out spacing. So, students, in the retaining wall, whenever we have to design stem, hill slab and toe slab, we have to assume whenever not given that our main reinforcement of 16 mm diameter or 20 mm diameter, whatever you have to choose. Okay, but in this case, we have to choose our reinforcement of 20 mm diameter. So, what is the equation of spacing? The equation of spacing is small ht divided by capital ht into 1000. Now, what is small ht? So, small ht is pi by 4 into 20 square because we have to provide it the 20 mm reinforcement. Okay, now capital HT. Capital HT is we have to provide it our capital HT required is 2920. Okay. So, after putting all this value, we will get our answer 107.53 mm. So, this is the spacing required. Now, we have to provide it spacing. So, you all know that we have to provide it spacing at closer spacing okay so our spacing provided is 100 mm so after putting the spacing provided value is equal to 100 mm so you will get your answer ht provided is equal to 3142 mm square so this is the calculation of main steel now we are moving further to the distribution steel so you can see that your stem having width of 200 mm, it means 0.2 meter at top and 0.45 meter at bottom. So, what is the average thickness of stem? So, the average thickness of stem is 200 plus 40, 450 divided by 2. It means 325 mm. And you all know that we have to provide it minimum reinforcement as per IS 456-2000, page number 48. Our minimum reinforcement is 0.12% of total cross-sectional area. Okay. So, our 0.12% of total cross-sectional area. So, we have to provide it capital D. Okay. So, PT is 0.12. B is equal to 1000 and our capital D is 325. Okay, so we have to calculate our answer of HT is 390 mm square. Okay, so in our distribution steel, we have to provide it 10 mm bar diameter as the distribution steel. So we have to find out our spacing is equal to small ht upon capital ht in 2000 now what is the value of small ht the value of small ht is pi by 4 into 10 square our ht is 390 into 1000 so we will get our answer 201.53 mm now 
we have to provide it spacing at closer side so we have to provide it our spacing is equal to 200 mm and after putting the spacing provided value we will get our answer of ast provided is equal to 392.65 mm square okay so students this is the design step of stem okay so in the next lecture we have to calculate our design of hill slab and design of toe slab so students let us revise our this lecture in which we have to first of all find out our small edge it means the height of stem after that we have to find out force after that we have to find out moment after that factor moment okay after finding out the factor moment we will get our answer of pt ast spacing spacing provided and at last ast provided and this all the things is repeatedly done for distribution still okay so students this is the end of today's session thank you